I'm posing good day, everybody. This is Sportsman at News. I'm Jeff Bork, and this is going to be a preview to our 9-11-5-2, excuse me, Lehigh Valley fans versus the 9-14-1-3 Wilkes-Barre Screen and Penguins up there in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, as our Phantoms look to keep the point streak going. Um, in their last three games, they battled back to lose to Hershey in overtime, uh, beat Bridgeport in overtime, and battle back to get a great end of the year win against Utica. And of course, the Phantoms have not lost a game um, in regulation since they lost to the Charlotte Checkers, uh, which was the beginning of December. And then that Rochester loss that they had on Saturday, December 18th, was of course in overtime. So the Phantoms' point streak continues, even with a bunch of guys up in the NHL where Roop's off and different guys not available, whether they want a healthy scratch or the COVID protocol. Shusko was of course out. Ratcliffe, who was heating up. Uh, the captain was out for COVID protocols. That's very damning. This team still figured out a way to get points. This team is doing the opposite of the Flyers. This season, the Flyers season has kind of gone roller coastery. The Phantoms started really low and then has started tending ticking up, excuse me, due to this point streak, but it's not going rapidly up like a roller coaster because it's just a point streak, not a win streak, right? So it's ticking up, but the Phantoms are moving in the right direction. They're doing the things you should be doing on the ice. They're winning more puck battles. They're getting in and out of zones a lot more efficiently, something that they should teach the big club to do. Um, but the Phantoms are playing a more systematic version of hockey. It looked like they were kind of just playing get in the right spots and try to develop your game because uh, cause Lappy was a player development guy first and foremost uh, before being a head coach. So it looked like they were playing like they were basically playing for a player development guy early in the season where now it looks like Le Perrier, and I got on him early in the season, so i got to give him credit for lately, has had more of a game plan and more of a respond to the game game plan where they were down against Utica he pushed the pace. When they were down against Hershey, he helped them to push the pace. It seemed like they changed the game plan. They put a couple different guys on the ice together, uh, just as you would do at every other level. So he mixed it up. Uh, he made the game plan more efficient. He made them more aggressive. He um, probably, honestly, the way that Leppy played told people to get more physically aggressive because that's the way that he would kind of amp up the team. And that's what works for this fan team, the Hayden Hodgins, the Sauniers, the Garrett Wilsons of the world, even Ratcliffe at times, Zamula when he's down. Uh, they have a bunch of guys and a bunch of big boys that are willing to stand up for the uh, pack, something that uh, also, other than Zach McEwen the other night, sometimes the big club gets accused of not having enough of. But uh, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, as long as they can keep playing it the way they're playing and have this more efficient overall game where they play much better in both zones, minus the Utica game where they had to battle all the way back offensively, then they can beat this Wilkes-Barre team. Wilkes-Barre is not the, a, a great, this isn't a great Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins team. Now, obviously, Lehigh, they're still missing a bunch of guys. But like I said at the beginning of the video, all the guys they're missing up with uh, call-ups and um, what have you, uh, they they did uh, bring Zamula and Millman returned, and then to replace them, Alex Kylie, who was on uh, Danny Briere's main Mariners, also joined the Lehigh Valley Phantoms um, when he was the longest tenured member of the team. In the first ever signed with the Mariners in June of 2018, Kylie scored five goals with seven assists in 12 games since the belated start of the season due to his lower body injury. Uh, so from Danny Brea's main Mariners, they get reinforcements to Al Kylie. Mason Millman is probably going to play defense and not forward. And then you got Igor Zamula back down. Um, plus, um, also uh, Pat Nagel, we have to say, as well as Sandstrom and Bunneman being returned, is making Team USA. So claps up to Pat Nagel, all-time current win in his goaltender in the AA, or ECHL and fifth all-time, where at the AHL, he's been having success in his 30s, in a little bit of tennis before his time with the Phantoms, and now having success with the Phantoms, he's going to be the veteran on Team USA, claps up, and congratulations for Pat Nagel, if he goes tonight, or Felix Sandstrom, we're still going to need a hell of a performance from either of them, because the Phantoms, even while playing better and more efficient, do still tend to be one of those teams that give up at least two to three high percentage chances on their goaltenders per game, which is the other side. Even though I was speaking of the positive, there's some things this team still needs to improve on consistently entering and exiting zones. They've been better at it, but you have to do it consistently, obviously, to fully turn around the season. And consistently giving up less high-octane chances on the goaltender. They've been doing better, right, but you have to do that consistently to fully turn around the season. So those are the things I look to for them to improve but they at a consistent basis, but have they improved them 
it, um, kind of like exponentially over time. Yes, they have. And this team has been getting better uh, because of their better play on the ice. As long as that continues, this is going to keep trending in the right direction. Hayden Hodson was extended for two years as well. Uh, so that was great to see. Players are getting rewarded for their play. Lappy's putting them in the lineup, rewarding them for their play, putting them on the ice more. Like, for example, game that Ratcliffe has been doing really good, and I've seen him out there more than in other games that they kind of um, pulled away from him because he wasn't having as strong of a game, uh, so to speak. So I think he's pulling the right cards a lot more than early in the season. They're actually having a better systematic game plan than early in the season, where before it seemed like it was just basic hockey. Um, and it wasn't getting them anywhere. So the Phantoms are getting better. And if they keep going at this trend, keep playing at this trend, having Bunny, having Sandstrom, uh, picking up Kylie, having Zamula, having Millman, who is one of the better young defensemen in the league, having all those guys on the team, three back, one added in Kylie from May Mariners, that's just only going to help this team to have a more more obviously skill back with the team and a forward that's good and now get his chance at the AHL level that was playing like a bat out of hell at the ECHL level and Kylie I hope you all enjoyed this preview of the Phantom and Wolf Brothers Grand Penguins as long as our Phantoms can keep playing at the pace and the level they've been playing systematically since being on this point streak compared to before when it kind of felt like more wooly nilly hockey I think they're going to get at least a point up there in Wilkesbury. Wilkesbury is a tougher team to play I'm in their home born. That's a great home born in the AHL up there. But I think the fans are still going to be able to walk away with the point as long as they don't screw themselves in this game. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below on the easy to use widget or, or, or down below in the subscribe button or up above on the easy to use widget to help us get to 195 or end of January goal. Go Phantoms. Win this game tonight.